name is Ava Catanzaro and this is the Peace Project. I think coming to peace with things is something I personally strain away from. Don't get me wrong, I am not one to hold grudges, but I feel like I never face my problems head on and I just distract myself from them instead. It's so easy to get caught up in all the chaotic things going around you, especially at this time and this generation. I say this generation because social media is a big part of it and it's not always a good thing. It's easy to get distracted from the things in front of you, on your screen, in your hand. I see myself fall into and out of reality all the time. These past few months have been bumpy, and back to me not facing my problems, I let them build up. Myself two years ago would hang out with friends to have fun and stay in touch. Now I hang out as a distraction from being alone. Because when I'm alone, I don't have a distraction. I can play on my phone, but social media always finds its way to make me worse. I can call or text my friends, but I really have nothing to talk about. I can redecorate or arrange my room, but I've done that so many times I can't think of new ways to do it anymore. So when I'm alone, I think a lot about the things I stray away from. I don't like feeling that I'm incapable of letting things go, so I let them go with time. It could be weeks, months, or years till I get over something, but there's nothing time can't fix, right? I've learned the longer you keep stuff in, you get tired. You get sad. You feel less like a person and more like a mime. We as people tend to overlook things and make the worst out of situations. We overthink. And if you think about it really, we make our insecurities out of someone else's standards. It's better to deal with things at the source. And if it's too late to deal it at the source, then just see it. Know it's there. Know it needs to be dealt with. You learn to love things or leave it, but it's important to know you are not alone. Though everyone is different, there's nothing you can't get past if you really try. If anything, I should be the one taking my advice because I let these things make me tired, make me lose motivation, and I see my schoolwork slipping. I see myself becoming distant and losing touch with reality. Not all things turn out the way we want it to, and we don't have control over that. With a little push, there's nothing you can't come to peace with.
hi. Some of you don't know who I am, but even if you do, you only know the person I present myself as. I have made so many connections with people through my struggles. You really do see the good and bad in people in whatever you're going through or whatever someone else is going through. I personally went away for a month this past October to work on myself and met so many amazing people. Of course, there were some worse ones, but not everyone is the same. You learn that everyone has their own stories and are unique, but you can't change who they are. You can't change the way someone looks, the color of their skin, their opinions, who they love, or how they act. They are themselves. People should be allowed to be who they want without society judging them. People even get scared to go out in public without feeling like people are judging them. It's always about how a person looks or who they love more than who they are. We really need to start seeing past the outside and focus on the inside because that is what really matters. It doesn't matter what their story is or who they give themselves out to be. There has been so much going on in the world that being accepted and yourself has started to get normalized. With the point of loving, accepting, and embracing others, we need to learn how to love, accept, and embrace ourselves. People should be who they are without hesitation. We need to be ourselves without worry. We need to learn that we do matter, regardless of what other people say. We focus more on everyone else's opinions and what they have to say about us, so we shut our opinions out. We don't consider ourselves or what we think, we just focus on what other people have to say. We think more about the negative things people say, more than the positive. We brush off the good comments and soak in the negative. Just because someone says something about you doesn't mean it's true. We need to realize to love, accept, and embrace ourselves and others. We need to learn that everyone does matter, even ourselves. Every single one of us need to be thought of as equal, including every race, gender, sexuality, age, and different opinion, even if we don't believe it to be true. We may not like what others are, say, or do, but that does not make them any less of a person than yourself. Others can change, but they shouldn't change because people want them to. They should change for themselves. We are all ourselves, and that is what makes us individuals. No one is the same, and that is completely fine. In the end, it's just you, and you are yourself, not anyone else. Take advantage of that opportunity and be you. These are all ways to start bringing peace to the table that we call the world. We, if we can accept others and ourselves, we can start to get along better with each other. This will bring us less conflict and more agreement, less violence and more peace. This peace will bring our economy to a calm resting place. This may take some time, but that's fine if we can accept the idea of peace and acceptance and that these will bring us happiness and help us. We'll be able to use our differences to connect with others and the faster we can do that, the faster we will be able to have a calm, peaceful frame of mind that can bring about positive change. Peace will bring us to a happier, serene potential to live life. It's key to a better way to live life to the fullest. If we start the peace within ourselves and spread to others. It starts with one and spreads to all.
Thank you.